Hello everyone! Make sure to note the date because an exceptionally remarkable event is taking place in the heavens on April 8th, 2024. We're referring to a solar eclipse, but this is not your ordinary eclipse. Total solar eclipses of this magnitude are exceedingly uncommon phenomena. What sets it apart is its perceived significance, particularly concerning the United States and Israel. Some are drawing parallels between this celestial display and predictions linked to the 2024 election. Additionally, there's a faction of thinkers who interpret it as a potentially foreboding sign, even signaling the end times. In this video, we'll delve deep into this phenomenon to unravel its true meaning. Prepare to be astonished by the revelations that follow. The Bible doesn't overlook celestial occurrences and their implications for the culmination of history. It contains numerous references to the sun, moon, and stars within prophecies related to the end times. Jesus himself hinted at signs in the heavens as indicators of significant forthcoming events. Consequently, whenever an extraordinary celestial phenomenon occurs, it prompts contemplation about its potential connection to apocalyptic scenarios. To truly understand the importance of a celestial event like a solar or lunar eclipse, one needs to consider various factors. These factors encompass historical occurrences, biblical passages, present-day global happenings, and the broader context of the event. By analyzing these components, we can determine whether it signifies a genuine warning or is merely a piece of a larger biblical prophecy. As Ecclesiastes 1, 9 wisely observes, history often repeats itself, suggesting that patterns from the past frequently recur. What's particularly intriguing is the consistent nature of God. His character remains unwavering, surpassing time and circumstances. This indicates that his interactions with humanity, his response to sin, and his dealings with nations follow a consistent pattern throughout history. Recurring themes, especially regarding the idolatry and moral decline of nations, are addressed consistently by God. Each significant prophet in biblical history who challenged the idolatry and immorality of Israel was accompanied by specific signs and warnings predicting impending events. In Revelation 6, 1-8, the four horsemen symbolize divine judgment on nations with each horse and rider representing a different facet of this judgment. First, there's a rider on a white horse, often interpreted as a symbol of conquest or leadership, bringing upheaval and discord to the world. This is followed by a red horse symbolizing war, leading to conflict and chaos. Then a black horse emerges, representing famine, resulting in economic hardships and agricultural challenges. Finally, a pale horse, ridden by death, brings disease and plague, further exacerbating the turmoil and suffering. These events described in Revelation aren't isolated occurrences, but reflect recurring patterns throughout history. They serve as warnings of divine intervention in response to the sins and idolatry of nations. For instance, in ancient times, God utilized Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian ruler, to judge not only Israel, but also neighboring nations like Egypt, Syria, and others. Prophets like Jeremiah forewarned of impending judgment through famine and plague before Babylon's invasion. In Jeremiah 38, 2, God advises people to surrender to the Babylonians to preserve their lives. This historical background underscores the cyclical nature of divine judgment throughout history. In contemporary times, parallels can be drawn between biblical prophecies and present-day events. Since 2020, the world has witnessed pestilence, famine, economic struggles, widespread civil unrest, and the looming specter of war. These occurrences have impacted not only specific regions, but the entire globe, including the United States.
Some perceive these signs as manifestations of God's wrath upon the world, serving as reminders of the widespread sin and idolatry prevalent in many societies. Although they may not indicate the immediate end of the world, they do point towards significant societal shifts and emphasize the importance of reflection and repentance. The four horsemen of Revelation symbolize the recurring nature of divine judgment throughout history, cautioning nations about the consequences of their actions and urging them to repent and pursue righteousness. Let's delve deeper into the intriguing roles of the sun and moon in biblical prophecy and their symbolic significance. In biblical interpretation, the sun often represents the Gentile nations, while the moon symbolizes Israel. Understanding this symbolism provides insight into the intricate connections between celestial bodies and spiritual concepts. The creation narrative in the book of Genesis offers fascinating insights into the timing of the creation of the sun, moon, and stars. According to Genesis, these celestial bodies were brought into existence on the fourth day, following the creation of vegetation on the third day. Despite plants relying on sunlight for growth, the sun's creation occurring after vegetation highlights deeper symbolism. It underscores the pivotal role of celestial bodies in sustaining Earth's ecosystems and regulating crucial processes like temperature and climate patterns. Notably, the absence of rain before Noah's flood, as described in Genesis 2, 5, 6, provides additional context. Rainfall, essential for Earth's water cycle, was not widespread until after this catastrophic event. Instead, streams from the Earth watered the ground. This illustrates the transformative impact of divine intervention on natural phenomena. The prominence of plants in creation, despite the delayed appearance of the sun, hints at a purpose beyond mere physical sustenance. It suggests that the roles of the sun and moon were intricately linked to spiritual and temporal markers. Indeed, Genesis 1.14, 19 elaborates on this idea, portraying the sun and moon as ordained markers for time, regulating day and night seasons and significant events. They were intended to serve as celestial timekeepers, guiding humanity in observing festivals, marking seasons, and commemorating sacred occasions. This profound symbolism underscores the significance of celestial bodies in the divine order. They not only govern natural phenomena, but also serve as symbolic channels for spiritual truths and prophetic indications. By comprehending the symbolism of the sun and moon, we gain deeper insights into the complex tapestry of biblical prophecy and its relevance to humanity's spiritual journey. Biblical prophecies, particularly those concerning the end times, heavily emphasize celestial signs. Joel 2.31 predicts signs preceding calamities, such as the dimming of the sun and the reddening of the moon, signaling the arrival of the great and terrible day of the Lord. This imagery symbolizes impending chaos, with fire and smoke representing volcanic eruptions and earthquakes and blood symbolizing war and divine judgment. These signs act as prophetic indicators, echoing Jesus' forewarnings of war wars, earthquakes, and other catastrophes preceding significant events. The association between Israel and the Blood Moon Tetrad of 2014 to 2015 is a particularly fascinating phenomenon. During this period, there were four consecutive blood moons, total lunar eclipses, occurring precisely during four significant Jewish holidays, forming what is known as the Blood Moon Tetrad. However, grasping the significance of this symbol remains challenging, and its interpretation remains a topic of debate. The number four, often linked with God's boundless authority, is reflected in the Tetrad, while the moon symbolizes God's vigilance over Israel and its people. The blood-red hue of the eclipses occurring over a two-year period was interpreted by some as a warning of imminent bloodshed and divine judgment, aligning with passages like Joel 3.12.
The Bible depicts a crucial event that triggers both national judgment and a seven-year tribulation period. It describes a day when all nations assemble in the valley of Jehoshaphat to face God's judgment for their treatment of Israel, including the dispersal of its people and the division of its land. This parallels contemporary events where nations are engaged in dividing the land of Israel. Specific nations such as Tyre, Sidon, and Philistia are cited in biblical prophecy as contributors to this division. These prophecies highlight the intricate interplay among celestial signs, geopolitical events, and divine judgment, providing insights into God's unfolding plan for humanity. They serve as reminders of the importance of vigilance, repentance, and obedience to God's will in these turbulent times. The historical and symbolic links between the ancient Philistines, modern Palestinians, and biblical prophecies are intriguing. The Roman renaming of Israel to Palestine after the Second Temple's destruction holds significant symbolism, as it was a deliberate act of derision towards the Israelites and their God, underscoring the historical enmity between these groups. The concept of a two-state solution involving Israel and the Palestinians can be traced back to prophetic scriptures, particularly in the book of Daniel, which mentions a seven-year peace agreement involving Israel and the Antichrist. Similarly, the Phoenicians, renowned for their maritime prowess and trade networks, inhabited regions like Tyre and Sidon. The biblical references to the king of Tyre in Ezekiel 28 have often been interpreted symbolically, with some regarding him as a precursor to the Antichrist. The migration of Phoenician settlers to areas like Greece and Rome and their influence in naming Europe after the Princess Europa underscores the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations and their impact on modern geopolitics. The significance of these connections becomes more apparent when considering the potential role these regions may play in future prophetic events, particularly regarding peace agreements and global governance structures. Transitioning to more recent times, the occurrences of 2017 in America stand out. The Great American Solar Eclipse on August 21, 2017, commanded the attention of millions nationwide as it journeyed from the West Coast to the East Coast. However, the importance of such celestial phenomena extends beyond their rarity in astronomy. They also potentially align with biblical and prophetic themes. The subsequent appearance of the Revelation 12 signed the following month, characterized by a unique alignment of stars and constellations resembling imagery from Revelation 12, further fueled interest and speculation among believers and scholars. These events underscore the intricate relationship between celestial occurrences, biblical prophecy, and historical events, prompting contemplation of their broader spiritual implications in our contemporary world. The alignment of stars and constellations witnessed in the Revelation 12 sign is exceptionally rare, documented only twice in history. This cosmic occurrence carries significant implications, particularly when considered alongside the upcoming 2024 eclipse. Embedded within these celestial events is a symbolic narrative of great importance, resonating deeply with biblical prophecy and the complex fabric of human history. Central to this narrative is the conflict between the saints and the Antichrist, often represented by the beast in Revelation 12. This cosmic struggle intertwines with the predicted resurgence of Jerusalem and Israel, serving as a poignant reminder of the spiritual and geopolitical dynamics shaping the world today. The alignment of stars and constellations acts as a celestial omen, signaling the gravity of impending events and urging humanity to heed the warnings found in ancient texts. The subsequent introduction of President Donald Trump's deal of the century, named Peace to Prosperity, adds layers of complexity to this unfolding narrative. 
The Peace Initiative, ostensibly designed to facilitate a two-state solution between Israel and the Palestinians, raises profound questions about land division and its implications for biblical prophecy. The ensuing global pandemic, economic instability, civil unrest, and political turmoil further amplify these concerns, casting uncertainty over the future course of human civilization. Remarkably, these events defy conventional expectations, challenging established interpretations of biblical prophecy. Yet, upon closer examination, they align with the intricate tapestry of prophecies woven throughout Scripture, emphasizing the enduring relevance and significance of ancient texts in shaping our understanding of contemporary events. Furthermore, the establishment of alliances such as Gog and Magog, spurred by shifts in geopolitics and economic dynamics, emphasizes the prophetic significance of our era. The gathering of nations and coalitions driven by mutual interests and strategic goals sets the stage for a momentous reckoning on the global platform, echoing the apocalyptic visions of ancient prophets. As we traverse these tumultuous waters, it is essential to remain watchful and discerning, seeking wisdom and guidance from the timeless truths preserved within sacred scriptures. Through the unfolding of these cosmic and geopolitical spectacles, we discern echoes of divine providence and the inexorable progression of history toward its ordained conclusion. The alignment of celestial events, particularly the solar eclipse slated for April 8th, 2024, carries profound implications within the framework of biblical prophecy. Unlike its predecessor in 2017, this upcoming eclipse will trace an X-shaped path of totality across the United States, intersecting with the constellation of Leo, symbolizing Jerusalem and Judah. This cosmic alignment occurs precisely seven years after the 2017 eclipse, coinciding just seven months prior to the 2024 presidential elections. The number seven holds immense symbolic weight in biblical prophecy, often signifying completion or fulfillment. In this context, it alludes to the culmination of the 70 weeks of judgment allocated to Israel, represented by seven-year cycles. Rather than heralding imminent catastrophe, this eclipse serves as a reflection on past events while gesturing towards future fulfillment. The X-shaped trajectory of the eclipse path bears a striking resemblance to the Hebrew letter Tav, symbolizing a seal or mark. This letter carries profound significance, as seen in its rare usage in scriptures like Ezekiel 9, where it denotes a protective seal granted to those mourning over the sins of the first Jewish temple before its destruction by Babylon. This imagery foreshadows the marking of the beast and the sealing of protection upon the 144,000 witnesses during the seven-year tribulation period, reminiscent of the marking of doorposts during the final Passover in Exodus. Hence, the looming tav over the United States signifies both judgment and protection, particularly concerning the division of Israel's land and the unfolding events prophesied in Scripture. It serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate interplay between celestial phenomena, historical occurrences, and spiritual truths, urging us to pursue wisdom and discernment as we navigate the turbulent currents of human history. In essence, the convergence of celestial signs and biblical prophecy underscores the enduring relevance of Scripture in interpreting contemporary events and discerning the divine purpose behind them. As we contemplate the significance of these cosmic alignments, let us approach them with reverence and reflection, acknowledging their potential importance within the framework of divine revelation.
The convergence of celestial phenomena, historical cycles, and scriptural truths invites us to delve deeper into the mysteries of faith and prophecy, prompting introspection and spiritual discernment. I am grateful for your continued support and engagement in our quest for knowledge. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to stay connected and informed about future discussions on these captivating topics. Let's embark on a journey to uncover wisdom and understanding as we navigate the intricacies of our world and delve into the timeless truths found in sacred texts. Your participation in this community is invaluable. And may our shared quest for knowledge lead us to greater understanding and enlightenment together.